All right, time for our room walkthrough. We've got 8048 on the Disney Wonder. It's a concierge one bedroom suite. Just getting a little card down there. And let's go in. All right. There we go. So, as you enter on our right here, you've got the first bathroom in here. If we just make that go down there. Nice little sink and everything, all in there, underneath. All your products and towels and all that sort of stuff in here. This is the smaller of the two bathrooms that are found in this room. A shower in there, which we haven't used yet, but still a decent size overall. And then, coming back out here, on our left, we have three closets. I'll open up this first one here. Life jackets and everything all up there, as well as your hooks, I won't open up the other little thing there, but you can pretty much see in there, doors can all be a little bit tough to open, there we are, this one as well, lots of storage as well, so plenty of room to store absolutely everything all in there for you, there we are, now come into the main sort of living area of the room, Little table there with four chairs. And then your sink there to be able to go through and fill up everything. There we are in here. Cups and glasses and all the basics that you really need. We haven't really used much of this because our fridge has always been stocked with pretty much everything we need down here. There's your little mini bar as well. That's been filled up every single day for us. Uh, we put in requests for, for everything that we wanted. Been and stuff down there as well. And then we've kind of just been filling up the fridge ourselves with whatever we want, really. And coming back around. Nice little mirror and spot to just hang up everything there. Nice little seating area. You get your TV and everything all here. All of these little ornaments and stuff just add a nice little luxurious sort of element to it all they are all stuck down however the books you can actually pull them out this one was Moby Dick I think yep you can actually have a bit of a read as well which is quite nice now balcony coming out here probably the best part out of all of it you do have your blackout curtains as well but we just Pull that one up. There is another little lock up here too, which if you're extra worried, you can flick that little switch up there. We'll pull this back in the open. Now being a one bedroom suite, this is an extra large balcony here. It is a little bit rough out at sea today, but it's still quite nice. So normally, your balcony on most of the suites would finish right here. So you kind of get just your two chairs and that's it. But we actually get twice the balcony in one, essentially. This which is quite nice, it's a fantastic view. We are on deck eight here, hence the 80. Right in the middle of the ship, so you can see there's the forward. We are on the port side, the left. There's the rear as well for you. Now coming back in, as it is quite windy in here. There we go. Close all that. Coming back in here. You now go into the main bedroom here. You get your nice premium sort of upgraded pillows, all that sort of stuff, and the mattress as well. Super comfortable. Little Murphy bed here. This is where Max has been sleeping. I'll insert a clip of that shortly after during turndown service once that's been all pulled down for us. Another entrance to the balcony down there. And then there's your TV with some more drawer space, all that sort of stuff in there for you as well. Now, coming back out. You've got plugs down there. Don't forget they are all US and European. Phone down there where you can ring. Concierge, all that sort of stuff being in the concierge level. Some lovely artwork here too. 
Now, nice little area. We'll turn on the light in here too. Plenty of little light switches. You just push all your buttons there. There we are. Nice full length, so well not full length mirror, but decent sized mirror, extra drawers and everything all in there. And on our right, this is, I guess, the master wardrobe, you could say. A little light switch here to be able to turn it all on in there. You have a safe in here, plenty more drawers. They're the main drawers we've been using. They've been perfect for the three of us. Pack some six bags, just in case, sick bags, just in case Max got sick, but he was fine. All that clothes and everything all hanging up, all the hangers all provided, plenty of room, nice little walk-in wardrobe there. Make sure we turn that light off too. And now for the main bathroom sort of area. His and her sinks there, oh, for that press there, there we go. His and her sinks. There we are. Once again, more storage there, I believe. This one's functional, but I think these two are actually just fake or I don't know. Oh no, there you go. I've never pulled them hard enough. I've been too scared to break them. Elements products, but I did read that I think they're going back to H2O. And we did notice there was H2O in the uh, concierge lounge as well. Whirlpool tub here, or we like to call it a spa bath essentially. Max has made great use of that. And then up here, you do have your little clothes hook hanger here. Well, so you can pull that and it folds back in. We have our uh, clothes from swimming in the pool all there. Just be warned that it does get quite cool in these, so they take quite a long time to really dry. We'll turn the light on in. I guess what we call the ensuite. Not a toilet there. And I've actually been quite surprised with this area. It's actually quite large. I'm a bigger guy. Uh, there's your shower in there. Still not massive, but at the same time, I can comfortably shower in there. These showers have been quite unique. You gotta kinda just keep twisting the handle and it just gets warmer and more pressure. Essentially, there's another lever down the bottom that couldn't quite figure out. That has been quite nice. Other than that, that's pretty much everything. Another phone in there, just in case, I guess you have an emergency or something like that on there. Heading back out, and that's pretty much everything for Stateroom 8048. Overall, it's been a really nice room. We've really enjoyed it. However, our big complaint has been that, I don't know if you could just hear it just then, above us is what I assume to be next to the pool, where there's lots of chairs and tables and that sort of stuff. Throughout the day, you do hear a lot of chairs scraping and kids running. That's been sort of our main issue, I guess. Late at night, it's been fine. But if you want to have a nap or something like that uh, during the day, be warned on deck eight and sort of midship in particular, you're gonna hear a lot of kids running, lots of chairs scraping, staff moving at all, all that sort of stuff. Probably just heard it again. It's probably my only real complaint for it. Shower's been great. Location's been fantastic, not too far from the elevators at all. But other than that, that's it for our room tour of Stateroom 8048, a concierge one-bedroom stateroom suite on the Disney Wonder.